Okay guys, Michael Neff here with Gears Golf. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to put on the markers and where they need to go. My friend Shay is going to assist me here. So I've got the suit on. Actually, I actually have a couple here. We'll take off and give you, so come on in Shay and sure. kind of show me where all these things go. Okay. So we'll just go ahead and start with the easy ones. Okay. The wrist, directly on the wrist. Okay. Right on top. Okay. goes right on the so joint we center. Don't, we don't put it directly in the center, like right here, okay. going through that, that joint center, but we don't put it on the elbow either. It's kind of in the midpoint between those two, so it's gonna be closer to the, the bony part of the elbow. Okay. There we go. Okay, see that? Okay. And that one goes in the middle of the shoulder blade, is that right? Uh -huh. This one's gonna go right in the middle of the shoulder blade. And this one goes right on that AC joint there. Top spine. And then we'll just mirror it. Yep. Base of the scapula. Yep. Base of the scapula. Okay. So that's the that's the shirt. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen markers are on the shirt. Okay. Then the waist. Yeah, the waist. So we get two on the side here. Whoops. And we're directly on the side. Okay. And then where on the back? back. Okay, got that? Okay. We're getting some more markers. So you'll see here that um, these marker positions are really important. If, uh, if I have this, um, you know, kind of over here and this one over here, or this one too close, that's when you start to have some avatar glitching or uh, it's not ha it's having a hard time recreating it accurately. So you wanna make sure we get that, uh, get these mark positions right. There's also a diagram that we give you when we do the installation that you can, that will indicate that. Okay, okay so, so bend your knee. And then similar to the elbow, we're not gonna put it directly through the, the side, but we're not gonna put it directly on the front either. Okay. So kind of midpoint between these two. Um, I did want to show you guys something on the shoe here. Notice that there's a strap that goes underneath this shoe. This is really important to get on there firm and that you make sure that this goes all the way to the toe because we don't, if you don't do this right, and I, I usually pull it pretty tight around there and, um, and then around the pant leg, uh, getting those tight is really important. Now, one thing to, okay, so go ahead and put those on the feet where you want them shaking. So this is gonna be kind of on the, uh, if you were to, to bend your foot forward, uh, there's that line where the toe break or the t uh, toe hinge occurs. Okay. And it's just going to go directly on that line. So typically, the one in the uh, the inside is going to be uh, a little further forward, and then this one a little further backwards. You see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to place one on the ankle, so the right on the bony part of the ankle. Okay. And then the hat, I have some on the hat, but. Yeah. 
So this looks go. good, right? So it's over the left ear on the hat, mm -hmm. okay? Some of you want to use magnets. Uh, you can get double-sided magnets and use markers so that you can use, overuse hats or use different hats. Um, you, there's one on the top, one on the bill of the cap, and then one right over the left ear. So that is what the avatar looks like, or that is what the marker set for gears looks like. And one of the things you got to be careful of is that when after you hit a ball, sometimes somebody will take the hat off, okay, or somebody will move their shirt, or they'll 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 move the marker set, okay. Whenever that happens, you got to be paying attention for that because whenever that happens, you're going to have to refit the skeleton, which we'll go over in the next video. Thanks.